friends thank you for uh, being with us on this journey of studying um, revival and uh, also about revivals uh, today i would like to focus on us coming together to see god for a time of revival a season of revival from the lord second chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land so this is an invitation to god um to come and work in us and we as god's people together when we we come together and pray you know the scripture says that those of us who are called by his name if we would um just come before him in prayer turn ourselves around to uh, align our lives to the lord we have a god who will not just answer our prayers but we are told that he will also heal our land and by this we understand that you know the various uh, uh, various things in this land that that brings um sorrow that brings uh, a lot of heartache to people you know god is able to deal with those things and remove uh, those things from among us and many revivals in past history have seen this as god's people have come together to pray uh, god has uh, worked tremendously among them and uh, in the regions where they lived and today i want to draw our attention to a very famous revival of uh, the 1800s in fact it took place uh, in america in uh, 1857 uh, and it was a very unusual revival as well because a, a new uh, graduate a new missionary by the name of jeremiah uh, lanfire uh, he decided to go after god in prayer and uh, Uh, I'm sure even he wasn't prepared for what God was going to do. He simply printed out some pamphlets for prayer. Uh, simply uh, printed out these pamphlets to invite people, and he went around uh, on uh, on a certain street and gave out those pamphlets. And uh, these prayers were to be held uh, during the lunch hour, so afternoon prayers. And the very first time, there were six people who gathered together to pray. and before uh, jeremiah knew it the numbers started going up week after week so the following weeks he found uh, the numbers went from 10 people gathering in the lunch breaks to 20 to 30 and before he knew it there were at least 3000 people gathering in one place for prayer uh, just seeking the lord just going after the lord uh, and uh, you know adoring him inviting him to come and work in their lives uh, and this is known as the layman's prayer the layman's prayer revival of 1857 and in a matter of about 2 years you know we are told that um there was a tremendous impact on the um new york region and not just that it spread all over the place um and this was a revival such that uh it, even the newspapers took notice of it and people started printing about the things that were going on in these prayer meetings so to just cut a, a long story short we read that uh, even up to 10000 people were committing themselves to the lord every week and this revival did not even have uh you know any any uh, pastor or you know any any prominent personality leading it it was just people coming together on their own god pouring out his spirit and people just giving their lives to god because one person invited somebody to pray and people started gathering in groups and they began praying and seeking after the lord just one uh, uh, inspiration for us to um look at and god can do this and so much more if we just come humbly and simply before him uh and ask him to touch our lives to touch our families to touch our um you know our city our land our region let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for these examples of your mighty outpouring upon those who sought you father uh today we commit ourselves oh god to seeking you and father we pray that you'll put this burden lord to come before you in prayer 
uh, as uh, teams, as groups, as communities. And Lord, we look forward, Lord, for a mighty outpouring upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.